Hey guys, gals, Todd here with Great Escape Farms. In front of me right here are some Gumi Berries from, actually from this year, but this video is about Gumi Berries from last year that I left stratifying in the refrigerator for a solid year. So, spoiler alert here, they ended up not, I ended up not getting any plants out of it. They did all end up dying. There were several different things going on with it, uh, between mice, and uh, just uh, the fact that they were stratified for as long as they were, it's something that just does not bode well for the sprouts to take off. So I did have a couple of them actually start sprouting and then mice got involved. So if you are interested or so inclined to do so, the rest of the video goes over the things I did to try to get these to grow after they've been stratified for a year. And I will link in the show notes how to actually properly get gumi berries to grow and that link will show up in six to nine months so i hope you enjoy the video if you continue to watch on thank you very much okay so i put gumi berries in the refrigerator last year the whole berries i can tell because there's stems on it and they've been in there for an entire year just bagged up in the refrigerator so they would have been stratified i just don't know if they fermented and they're not good anymore. So I'm just gonna lay them out in some water at room temperature and see if they sprout. So here's the gumi berries I just showed you. And in that same bag, I had two other bags here. Now these have a lot more juice to them. So, well, I actually have high hopes for these. I put them in a colander, I washed them off and these look pretty darn good. So after a year, I'm hoping they're still viable. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in a cup right there with some water and just so I know which ones these are I put Gumi 2020 fermented because those were the ones that completely fermented and in the F, in the colander I was I was shaking it around and the sticks came off and I actually had a couple seeds that were black and that's what makes me think that these might be good is because the ones that aren't good turned black so we will see so I again changed my mind and I got thinking about broccoli sprouts. I just did a video on that. And when I'm sprouting broccoli and other things, I rinse them twice a day and leave them out at room temperature. I don't leave them soaking in water. So I went ahead and rinsed these and I will do it again tonight and next couple days. If I see any roots coming out of these things at all, then I will immediately put them one by one in the ground and try to get them growing that way. Okay, we have cups of ferment, small bag and large bag, and actually quite a few in, quite a few seeds in here. If these things were to take off, I'm gonna have a lot of gumi for sale next year. I will check back with you in a few days. We'll see what's happening with these. Well, we are two hours in. I didn't expect to be given an update so early. So we have the ferment, small and large, the ferment, looks fine about the same way as I walked away. The large looks fine about the same way as I walked same as when I walked away. The small bag though looks black. And let me see if I can put these two up to compare them for you. So it's absolutely, uh, definitely a different color black. It got that way pretty quick afterwards. So when I was rinsing these out, the small bag actually had a more foul smell next was the fermented bag and the large bag which actually had the most seeds in it just smelled fruity and it still smells fruity this one has a little bit of a fruity uh smell to it and this one still smells pretty foul or rotten here so i'm willing to bet that we're not going to get any seeds out of this one right here and this is the next morning. I just did the rinse on these. So I just rinsed off and the, let's see, this is the ferment. It was good. This is the small bag and still it looks black. And the large bag, I had a couple of floaters on. So I pulled those, I'm sorry, that wasn't the small bag. That, was, uh, that wasn't the large bag. It was the small bag, had a couple of floaters on it. So I pulled the floaters out. Usually that means that they're, they're not good, so probably three or four on this. So so the ferment bag is same as yesterday, still looks pretty good. The small bag is still black, but I, I'm, I'm gonna keep rinsing just to see if we get any roots out of them. And the large bag is again, looking pretty good. 
Okay, so I am getting ready to run off on a trip for three or four days, and I've been watering these things at least once, sometimes twice a day, and no, no real signs of any change or anything. But anyhow, I'm go running off, so I can't be here to water it. So what I'm doing is I'm using some of my potting mix that I mix up my trees with. I just went ahead and wet it, and what I was looking for was that I can squeeze it and get just a couple of drops of water out and that's it so it's not completely drenched and I'm going to go ahead and mix the seeds in with the potting mix and that should keep it moist while I'm gone so uh, it'd be a little tough to separate after the fact so at this point it's just going to stay in the mix and I'll look to see if anything is rooting out or anything I'll just move move the soil around from time to time well I actually have one growing out of the large bag and uh, pull that back up it is definitely coming out of that seed right there so that is awesome I will keep an eye out for any other so far nothing else is growing okay so we need to make some changes here don't know if you can see where this is dug into and a pile back there, but I've had a mouse coming and eating the seeds at night. So I also, uh, because these are so deep and I have the soil up to here, anything that sprouts down at the bottom, it's gonna die before it gets a, a sprout up to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up in a tray. Okay, so this is a tray from another project I was working on and you can see there's holes in it here that'll let the water out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it about halfway up with good soil and then I will spread the seeds across. I'll do uh, all three of them in here and I'll just label on the side which one is which and then I'll put some soil across the top. Okay, so I took a silver Sharpie and I marked F for ferment, S for small bag and L for large bag. And I filled this about halfway with potting soil. Then I took the cups out, I spread over this third, the ferment, this third, the small, this third, the large, and then I covered maybe a quarter to, yeah, probably about a quarter of an inch with more of the potting soil. So I'm going to go ahead and water this down and see how it grows. So the end result is nothing ended up growing. I did have a couple of little sprouts early on, but after the mice got into seeds, uh, they disturbed the ground enough that he ended up killing the ones that were sprouting off. What's shown in here right now are just uh, weeds, uh, carpet flower, and just uh, I think it's carpet flower. Uh, various different types of weeds in here, so I did not have any sprout once it was in the soil here. So lessons learned, uh, one, don't let the seed stratify or be in the refrigerator for over a year. Once you do get seeds out or you do have seeds, regardless of how long they've been around, don't leave them out for mice to get a hold of. And let's see, I guess, I guess those are the two biggest things. So I will be doing a video here shortly on how to properly stratify and grow gumi seeds. So I will, uh, once that video is out, I will link it in the show notes here. However, it might be six to nine months before it comes out because I'm actually going to go through stratify and get them to root and show them all the way through the process. But I expect in six to nine months to have a link in the show notes here. So thank you very much for tuning in. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and have a great day.